tariff going into Europe. That's correct. But you do. And we do. Okay. So and then if that if that goes on, then we're going to do something that's going to make that's going to make that look like small time. Uh, and last year we were sending, or two years ago we were sending a lot of product to China, and then China put a tariff on us for forty percent because of some of the trade issues between right. our two countries. And what happened to the tariff? Is it on now? Oh, it's not gone down. I, I haven't checked lately, but you're still paying the tariff, right? The lobster's still going to Canada, and from Canada they go over free. But it's just an added expense to the main lobsterman, who also has a 30 percent So you're saying China charges a 40 percent tariff? Tariffs. And how big is the tariff that the European Union charges? 20, is it 20 or 22? Okay. And this country, because of uh, stupidity for years, hasn't charged them and, and the funniest part of this whole issue is the Canadian lobster we're talking of and the main lobster come out of the same water. Are they the same lobster, would you say, basically? Yes. Would yes. you say they're equivalent uh, as lobster? Yeah, they're equivalent. They're is from there a the, difference the in Gulf size or type? Any difference? They're coming out of the it's Gulf the of Maine. <laughs> so you're, you're set up with a 20 percent tax that they don't have, so you, so they have a very good thing. And that's European Union, right? Yep. The European Union has ripped this country off so much, it's unbelievable. And, and I'll it's tell so you that, easy to solve. I'm going to call them, David, you're going to come in, write a letter, and if they don't change, we're going to put a tariff on their cars until they change, and they'll change right away, okay? It's unbelievable how badly, you know, people hear about the European Union, sounds nice. They've been almost as bad over the years as China in terms of trade, but nobody talks about it. That's right. There's a perfect case, Maine Lobster. Do uh, you understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. We're going to charge an equivalent plus tariff to them if they don't drop their tariff on your lobster and seafood, okay? And we can do that. Peter, do you agree with that? Do you like it? We need to Let me put back. you in charge of that we one. We need to That's a natural back. for you. Excuse me. Yes, sir. That's a natural for you. European Union charges us a tariff. They don't charge Canada a tariff. This is for the press. So Canada doesn't pay a tariff for the same exact lobster in the same waters. But we pay a tariff. If European Union doesn't drop that tariff immediately, we're going to put a tariff on their cars, which will be equivalent, coming in, come in for nothing, which is ridiculous. Okay? Do you understand? It's going to be the equivalent plus. Yes, sir. It's going to be the equivalent plus. Watch how fast that tariff comes off. All right? Watch how fast. It should be plus, plus, plus. Okay? I'm going to put Peter Navarro in charge of it. That's perfect for him. I'll take that one off your plate, okay? Thank you. All right, Peter Navarro, you're in charge of okay. it. Thank you. We, this country has been treated so badly on trade for so many years. We have such bad agreements. We're breaking so many of them up. Uh, it's been treated so badly, it's hard to believe. You know, Canada, in, in some respects, Canada has been our worst enemy in, this, in, the, in the produce industry. We cannot send... Um, we cannot send Canada has been very tough. Canada charged in Wisconsin before I got up and changed it. 287 percent tariffs on dairy products. Yeah. So think of it. And they kept it at 287. They didn't want to make it 300 because they thought somebody might find out. And until I became president, nobody knew. I ended it. But they were charging Wisconsin and our farmers 287 percent tariffs to send products to Canada. So therefore, you didn't send. You couldn't compete. You couldn't compete. And our people didn't charge them anything. That's correct. Canada has been very tough, very tough. You know why? Because they got away with it. That's all. Because people sitting here didn't know what the hell they were doing. Uh, okay. But the deal has worked. You know, the, the new deal is a good deal. It's got rid of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But we didn't talk about lobster. But Peter Navarro is going to be the lobster king now, okay? <laughs> All right, Peter? Yes, sir. Look, we'll you get can after do it. it. Let's see what you can do. Dear to my heart. Let's see what you can do. This, this state right here, Maine, is dear to my heart. I spent a lot There's of time There's another here vegetable that most people don't speak of, and we have can't bring to Canada. And we're one of them. We have a company in Maine that is one of the major growers of broccoli in the country. Broccoli. And in the summer, they're in Maine. In the winter, they're in, in, in Florida. But what, what has happened in the last few years is the Canadians bring their broccoli into market 
they have a 30% advantage on the exchange rate. And so we can't sell our broccoli, and we can't send it to Canada. Well, that's our big thing. That's with the, the overvalued that's dollar. That's what you and I talk about. Yeah. Right? The dollar. That yeah, everybody should do that one too, sir. I mean, maybe the dollar can handle broccoli too. in the same one. <laughs> What's that? Is it broccoli primarily that that and the lobster, seafood, etc.? There, there, there are a couple others. There's broccoli, blueberries. Blueberries, Maine was the night it used to grow 90 percent of the wild blueberries in the in the world. So where is it done now? Canada, New Brunswick, and uh, Quebec have got 300,000 acres on, and so now Maine's blueberries are selling below growing costs. And when yeah. you talked about the Obama to the Obama administration about this, they did nothing. Right? They did nothing. I, I spent okay. a lot of time in Congress. Let's get on this. The three, the three things plus the seafood. I, this man is—he's a believer. He knows exactly what to do. I don't have to tell him a thing. And you guys will work on the other stuff together, okay? Any questions, by the way? Questions? There shouldn't be any questions after that. You got more than you would have ever thought. I will just make one more comment. Amazing, right? I will make one more comment that we need your help on. As the, as the country is reopening, of course, right now, Maine is still tied up pretty tight because we have a governor that's not reopening very fast. But as yeah, why we isn't your governor? Why isn't your governor opening up your state? I don't know. We yeah. don't know. All these we, states are being open. They're making a lot of money. That's why we had the good numbers today. You have a governor that doesn't know what she's doing. And she's like a dictator. Yes, you know? she is. Why well, isn't she opening up your state? Well, one thing that she's doing is the $600 a week that, that uh, the people on unemployment right. are getting. She is allowing them to continue to collect when they're called back to work. And so people aren't coming back to work. And everybody in this room will if so knows she's, of people. So she's taking advantage of the system. Yes. But she's not letting them come back anyway because you're shut down. That's right. But it, the, the few that would. I know of three cases last week by an employer told me that these three people were called back. I've, I reported them that I have work for them, but they're still getting the $600. What would you say about that, Peter? The, look, this whole problem in the bill where we're paying people to stay home, yeah. it, it's you know, it doing works in tremendous some states. damage. Yeah. Doing tremendous yeah. damage to our economy because it's keeping people home. And the longer the Democrats people stay wanted home, this <clears throat> feather bedding, okay? But the Democrats yeah. wanted it. We said it wouldn't work, and we were right. And, and it works. But honestly, it's it good. works in it, Republican states. It, it does work in Republican states, but the Democrats wanted it, and we negotiated. But it's it's unnecessary. Correct. And it makes it overly complex. But a place like this, um, you know, we're straightening it out. Any further legislation, we're straightening it out. And we just did PPP today, so. The legislation is, is fine if everybody follows the rules, yeah. but if a, if a governor decides You see, to, she's not supposed to be doing that. That's correct. So when she doesn't do that, it's fine. That but is But the correct. governor is playing cute. If, if, if you call someone back, someone to work, and they refuse to go to work, you tell the state, and the state will take their unemployment That's right. away. Exactly. So she's not supposed to be doing that. That's right. correct. Let's call her on that, please. Yeah, call her legally. Not People of Maine want to work. Yes, they do. They do not want do. a handout. They when is work. she opening the state, if ever? Uh, I think there's another move in July. There's going to be another move in July. She started opening up some of the restaurants that you, you can have, uh, yeah. you know, six Very social small. distancing and 50%. And you don't have a big problem up here. So why is she doing this? Well, what she's afraid of, or what she's claiming, is that in the summer, Maine only has 1.3 million people. But our, we have 40 plus million visitors a year, 30 plus million in three months. And she's afraid that if she doesn't quarantine the entire state, that these folks are going to bring yeah, the, the problem virus. is though those three months are your Christmas, right? Yeah, you got it. It's our Tiffany season. likes Tiffany likes December. You <laughs> like these three months, so she's going to get rid of all of your wealth, exactly. and you're never going to recover that. That is correct. And so what I've advised her to do not good. What I've tried her to do is we everybody. You can only get into Maine two ways. Well, three ways: the Canadian border, 
the 95 or Route 2. Right. So if you put somebody at Route 2, everybody's got a form plate, you, uh, you know, an out-of-state plate. You, you get their name, telephone number, where they're going to be. Problem solved. If you have an uptick, you go right there. So you're giving away your tourist season this year because it's That's starting, correct. right? So that you're giving correct. away your tourist system. Yes. I mean, she must know this, right? I would think she's a no, right no, how lady. How does she do a thing like this? She's going to destroy your state. All right, look, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Uh, we're going to solve your fishing problem. We're going to solve something that nobody thought was solvable. We'll solve it very easily. And, Peter, you're going to handle we'll that other on. situation. You're right on. It's an incredible. Would you like to say something, folks? Go ahead. Uh, yes, I would. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. It's an honor to. Thank you. It's my honor. It's an honor to be here to uh, 